not work. And my father was not asked to work because he would have been an awful banker. <laughs> okay, at this time, I would like to introduce our scholars. These are good friends and co-ladies. First of all, Lily Coy was portrayed by Julie Prim. And of course, Susan Walmstead, right here in Greedy, portrayed Alice Ramsey. And then we have Linda Ross, portrayed Mabel Dodge Luhan. because I didn't repeat the compliment about how great it is that we're telling women's stories and the place they played in history. Proud to do it. Um, would you have any questions for our scholars? I'd like to know what other characters you Great question. What other characters do you portray? You want to start with me? Sure. I have one other character right now, Virginia Reed, who was a survivor of the Donner Party. They were caught in, at the base of these Sierra Nevada. She was only 13. So she, and the story is, uh, you know, told from the point of view of a 13-year-old, which makes the story palatable, I think. Um, I do Francis Jacobs, who I did as an on, on the online Chautauqua, who was the founder of the United Way. She's the mother of charities from Denver. And also, National Jewish Hospital is, is, is there because of her. She's a remarkable woman. I play um, Isabella Bird, who most of you, I think, know about Isabella Bird and Estes Park. Well, it's her 150th anniversary of her arrival in, es in uh, Estes Park this fall. So they're making a big deal out of it over there. But I, also, I thought Jane Swisher did a fabulous job as Isabella Bird. <laughs> And then I also portray Rosamond Underwood, which I did in 2015 for Chautauqua. This, she and her friend came across the United States from Auburn, New York to Elkhead, Colorado to teach in the Elkhead School from Auburn, New York. So I have those four. <laughs> I'm, I'm in awe of this woman. <laughs> I have Mabel. <laughs> and I'm working on Nellie Cashman, who was a minor and an entrepreneur. She owned hotels and restaurants from Arizona to Alaska. And she was quite a gal. <laughs> She's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. And I do Portia Mansfield. And Portia Mansfield and Charlotte Perry did uh, the Perry Mansfield Performing Arts School and Dance Camp up in Steamboat Springs. It is 110 years old this year. It's the oldest continuously running summer dance and drama camp. In the country. And I'm working on Nellie Taylor Ross, the first female governor who was governor of Wyoming. Other questions? Yes, Ron. Yes, um, for Mabel, um, the, uh, the, the Lyra Beanfield War, I think, is based on uh, Taos. And John Nichols um, criticizes uh, people like you for <laughs> gentrifying. Gentrifying. And as a result, most of the locals couldn't afford the property. Do you have any comment on that? As, as myself, as Linda <laughs> Ross, I certainly will. Yes. There is so much debate about that because Mabel was... Did you, did you want to rephrase? Oh, rephrase. Um, gentrifying, especially an indigenous culture that's hundreds and hundreds of years old, coming in and changing it, changing the complexion and the feel and the vibe of the place. Mabel was looking for utopia, and she was drawn to this kind of romanticized, simplistic view. And yes, she did come and open the door to people who would have never come to Taos, and it, it did change it, yes. So I, I honor your comments. Back over here. Go ahead. I was wondering if you could tell me a bit about your costuming, how you found them, and uh, oh. what made you take these. Alice, you want to go first? Susan. Alice. Susan. Alice. Alice. 
Since most of the time we put things together quite differently, um, my uh, wonderful signatures is out there in the audience. Wait here, I'm a, Ellen helped me with uh, making this actual London fog raincoat into a duster, and I had to blouse and pants, and I, you, she's also helped me with a, she made an Isabel Bird costume for me too, so. You just kind of find black skirts and white blouses, and, and some of us buy things. She's got a, a her outfit was purchased at Mason. Mason, though, I took a loan. I had to take out a loan for this. This is pretty, pretty pricey. Nobody made this for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, it's, it's all different kinds of ways that we found it. I, my, most of my costumes are super simple, so I have been lucky that way. I didn't get to wear my goggles because they interfered with my microphone. Here they are. <laughs> Amazon. That's the old one. What about the hat? Amazon. Uh -huh. Amazon. <laughs> Mabel. <laughs> oh, Amazon. Sapata <laughs> <laughs> so jewelry. It's not real. Uh, some wig shop. I can't remember. But it was a real cute Dutch boy cut. And I told the lady, I said, okay, now I want you to chop it up. <laughs> and the look on her face was just horror. But, yeah. Amazon. <laughs> uh, this is a red curtain folded in half. <laughs> and uh, the pants came from Salvation Army. Salvation Army, this came from the... I was trying to do, go for a kind of a cartoony look. I don't know why. Just, just because... That's why this five looks like this, but it was really about that big. Uh, these came from Joanne's. They're real leather buttons, and this came off the internet. Mm -hmm. and two dollars, yeah. honestly, for this wig. It's perfect. It's a two. It's a two dollar wig. It's a two dollar wig. We, ne we never could find a picture of that skirt, so we decided that it was probably a. a, a that was the one line I forgot in my script. Uh, probably just a cover up so it didn't look like pants in the front. You know, I know we need a break and we're all anxious for Paul Robeson, but I want to call out we have a very supportive group with our legendary ladies. And could our three legendary ladies stand up and give a wave? We're so glad you're here to support us. Oh, thank you.